So I am back today with another news roundup guys and we've learned over the past few days and beyond of things including stealing vehicles and how some might be let down by what can and can't be done, a cyberpunk 2077 discount and more. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Also stay tuned until the end of the video to find out about my cyberpunk giveaway. So let's start with a discount on this game. Now as of making this video, there is a discount live on Amazon in the US only. And if you are planning on buying this game physically, you can save yourself $10 in doing so. I mean it isn't crazy money, but money is money. What's that like a 17% saving, which isn't too bad. The only thing I worry about with ordering off websites is will the game get to me in time for release? I mean I've heard nightmare stories where people have brought games offline and haven't received them on release. Some people have even waited weeks after release. I mean I couldn't do that guys. I myself I don't really use Amazon but I'm sure some of you guys have in the past and will know them better than me. Let me know or let us know if you trust search to get the game on time from Amazon. Is it worth it for the sake of $10? I'm not too sure people. Next up guys, some more released real life images of Johnny Silverhand's Porsche. And man, this is such a beautiful car. I actually cannot wait to see if it's actually obtainable in game, which I'd imagine it is. But I want to see the story around getting this thing. It ain't going to be a straight up thing you see driving down the streets, enough NPCs in it. It's going to be a game you earn somehow and that's what I cannot wait for. Okay, so moving on, and while news out of the recent PC gamer issue covering Cyberpunk, and there's an article in there that states the following, Cyberpunk 2077 uses AI powered automation for lifelike facial animations, as Cyberpunk 2077 will be the first real world application of a brand new machine learning software that provides a complete automation of lifelike facial animations and high end lip syncs. Within the latest PC game and magazine, associate game director and animation head Sebastian Kalemba revealed that Cyberpunk 2077 uses Jala or J-A-L-I, which is new software to create realistic human expressions for every character model from in-game cutscenes to someone randomly walking on the street. He states, doing facial motion capture for every NPC in the game is impossible. You have to remember that we are talking about recording massive amounts of lines with numerous actors across different localizations, cooperating with studios all over the world for sessions and doing VR pickups all the way to the very last moment sometimes. Jolly allowed developer CD Projekt Red to overcome all of those difficulties and challenges while being able to create something on a massive scale that would not be simply possible with regular motion capture. And while this is something I feel many people picked on already with just how big this game is and will be, so the use of Jolly seems to be the right one and while looking at how good it looks in game, in the many gameplay cutscenes and cinematic cutscenes, this real world application is incredible. So it's a good call. Okay, so moving on and we have more news on cars and right now it's to do with stealing cars and storing them. Now we know you can store cars in your very own space within Cyberpunk 2077, but a little sad news is the fact it's been confirmed you can't actually store stolen cars. So if you're driving down that street, you see a beautiful hypercar, you drag that driver out of it and you steal it, you can't store it for future use. I mean for sure you can use a car while I guess you travel around the city, but it won't be a car you can ever call upon. Now they also confirmed you can only store cars you earn legitly, so whether you work for them, you earn them through a challenge or a quest, or you buy them, these are your very own cars that you can store. Once you steal, you can't. And while we know that there are particular cars I don't think you can just break into and steal off the bat, and probably unless you see someone driving it, I mean park cars with those high level security systems on it, I think some form of leveling up on your skill tree might be needed or required to steal those more expensive cars with those sophisticated security systems. So yeah, that's something to work towards. What they didn't mention is the fact I do feel there will be something more to stealing than driving particular cars. Like once you've stolen a particular car, it opens up something in terms of progress towards unlocking said car. I feel a future like this could be good. But yeah guys, you want that hypercar, you have to earn it by earning that dollar dollar or buying it or earning it another way. Either way people, you can't steal and collect, which I'm somewhat unhappy about, but at the end of the day it means I have to earn them, which I am happy about, I like that kind of thing. But let me know what you think about this down below in that comments section guys. But yeah guys, the end of the video is coming, but before we go, let me tell you about my giveaway. So I'm giving away copies of this game on all platforms. To be with a chance of winning one, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you're subbed. 
The more of my videos you support Cyberpunk Wise, the more of a chance you have of winning this game. I will announce winners a week before this game is released, so just in case you do not win, you'll have time to pre-order it for yourself. And wow people, that is it for today's news roundup. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you haven't seen any of my other Cyberpunk videos, you can check out my playlist link below within that video description. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out, and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.